Are you wondering how to find clients on LinkedIn without using Sales Navigator? If so, you are in the right place because in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now, I'm guessing that you're here because you're not quite ready to invest in Sales Navigator or you're just looking for fresh and creative ways to find your target audience. So in this video, I'm going to share three alternative ways for finding your dream customers on LinkedIn and make sure you stay until the very end because tip number three is the most powerful. Let's get into it. Tip number one, find creators in your space. I want you to think about all the people that your deal clients are already following. For example, if they're into motivational speaking, that might be Tony Robbins. If they are curious about marketing, that might be Gary Vee. If they're into business acquisitions, that might be Alex and Leila Hermosi. And once you have a few people in mind, let's head over to LinkedIn. From here, you want to find these people one by one on LinkedIn. And I have Layla's profile open over here. Definitely have a little girl crush on her and I hope to have her on my podcast somewhere down the line. And now what we're gonna do is click under show all posts. And what I want you to do is basically look at the likes and comments. So all the people who are engaging with Layla's content, because these people are basically self-selecting themselves. These are the active users on LinkedIn. And these are all the people who really resonate with the message that Layla is sharing on LinkedIn. So all you would do is go through her posts, click into the likes, and now you're basically scanning through, you're looking at the headlines and you're scanning through who might represent your ideal client avatar. And you're gonna open them up and you're gonna connect with them. Whether your niche is economics, digital pathology, or language coaching, I am sure you can find other people speaking on these topics. And all you have to do is connect with the people who have already raised their hand expressing interest in these subjects. Tip number two, find relevant groups. And I know what you're saying, groups are boring and outdated, and I'm not disagreeing with you. However, when someone asks to join a group, they don't know whether it's going to be super fun or completely silent. Though what they're doing to help you is saying, hey, I have an interest in this topic. For example, you might be looking to find people who are interested in learning German. So what I would do is put German in a search box and select groups underneath the dropdown. And right now what I can see is that we have a group for German speaking people, German speaking jobs, German speakers, and many other groups. And the international people inside of these groups would likely be quite interested in your German coaching. So what you would do from here is open up a group like this. And if you wanted to see all the members inside of it, you would have to join the group. Now, if you did have Sales Navigator, there's a really cool hack you could do to filter people within this group. And I'm just gonna add a video about that up here in the cards. Though right now, let's move into tip number three, which is events. Now, most businesses are not yet using this method to find their ideal clients, though you absolutely should. And let me show you why. Let's say that your product or service were serving moms, though most people don't actually say that they are a parent on their LinkedIn profile, which means Sales Navigator wouldn't really help you to find them. And in this instance, what I would do is head back over to LinkedIn, put in mom in the search box and select events over here. What this is going to give you is a list of upcoming events and all their attendees. For example, there is an event with 56 attendees, postpartum anxiety, rage, burnout, you know, challenges that moms might face after giving birth to their baby. And if this was your ideal audience, what I would do from here is open out this event and the moment you're gonna click this attend button, you're actually gonna be able to see all these 56 attendees who are going to this event. Let me give you another example. Let's just say you're looking for people who refer to themselves as introverts. And again, this is likely not something they're gonna have on their LinkedIn profile. However, if you go back to events, if you put an introvert here, I can see that the second event over here has over 12,000 attendees. That's a lot of people public speaking for introverts with Tony. So again, these are all the people who are identifying themselves as introverts, are looking for help with public speaking, and all you have to do is click attend, and you're gonna see all of the people, all the 12,000 people attending this event. There you have it, my love. Those were three alternative ways for finding your customers on LinkedIn. If you'd like my support with growing your business on LinkedIn and attracting inbound clients to you, definitely send me a message on LinkedIn and ask me more about the LinkedIn Bootcamp. Could you please, please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. We have a big goal hitting 100K subscribers on YouTube by the end of 2024, and I could so appreciate your support with this. If you're wondering whether or not Sales Navigator is actually worth the investment, I highly encourage you to check out this video next where I break that down step by step. So click over here and I'm gonna see you in that video. Bye.